Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. Guess what? It is my opinion and my opinion only, and sometimes it's for entertainment, and sometimes it's just for reaction purposes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, and happy Monday. Now, let me first say there's a lot going on over here in the McIntyre household, and I have not been one that's been reporting on it. I do need to apologize. Life been life, and people been having open houses. People been having to do a lot of things this way, but I'm back in June. We're going to be posting every day. We're going to go live when I get done with these videos. I'm going to set up a live for tomorrow so we can break it all down, but we have to talk about it today. Now, before we get into this, there's one thing I want to say, right? We've seen everything that's going on. I do not believe in calling CPS on people unless I see something blatant with my own eyes. I don't believe that these YouTube streets are something that people can get to know uh, people on, on a level to where they can be calling CPS on anyone. I'm just going to say that. I don't believe in it. It has been done to me. Someone from YouTube, some people every, have called it on me. I've done it. They've called animal control. They've called police. They've done everything. So that's not my jam and that's not my jam. Now that all this has taken place. So let me say that again. Now that this is all taking place, we are going to talk about it. Okay. Because it has hit the YouTube streets. If you know me and you watch me, once it hits the YouTube streets, then it's able to be talked about. So that's how we do it. So, well, what a week, right? Last week it was, I'm on vacation. I'm happy. I'm praising my man. I knew something was building up. Let me just say this. I knew some fishy, funky stuff was building up because she was giving Wood all this praise and painting Wood to be this great man, which we'll make a video about and drop a little bit later. But she was doing that the whole vacation, right? She was downing everybody. She was saying what a good man Wood was. And then she shows this video of CPS knocking at her door. She claims that she doesn't know what they were knocking about. She doesn't claim what they wanted. And then when she gets back from vacation, she she kind of breaks it down and the gentleman, you know, she shows the video of him standing there and what he had to say. So this gentleman says that he's there because of alleged, you know, uh, alcohol use of wood and, you know, the children not having a babysitter. And then it just kind of fizzles away, right? She doesn't say much about it. She says, you know, I don't want you to come in and see the children. So it just fizzles away like before. But then all of a sudden, we see that a sheriff shows up with another CPS lady, and they're saying it's another CPS complaint, and they're saying that this time it's some heinous things, you know, some SCX type of things going on. I don't know what some of the children, I don't want to go too deep in it. I think that is really sad, and I think that is really out there, and I don't like to repeat things like that because I have no proof of it. I have no evidence of it. And so that's just how that goes, right? But the police show up and Peach is making all these videos. And one thing that um, stood out to me was that she says in one video, and she has a title, Peach McIntyre knows who calls CPS on her. And she stands there and she says, oh, well, you know, I have 2 million followers and they're calling CPS on me. And then there's, you know, Fifi who's calling uh, CPS on me. Also, I think it's a neighbor that doesn't like me. I, you know, I got into it with and maybe they're doing it. First off, you made a statement that you know who is doing it, right? You're trying to take a guess. At this point, you've made so many people mad. You made so many people angry. You don't know who's doing it. But as I'm listening to this, I have a few questions. So y'all, we about to break it down. Number one, okay, let's put up this receipt. Okay, so this receipt right here just shows that there's some funky business going on, okay? Number one, she said Fifi was still calling CPS on her. That's what she told the police, right? Now, over eight months ago, Peach got out here, right? And she told us, I'm paying $1,000. I want to know Fifi's real information. She gets out here. She shows a cash app receipt. She shows that she paid $1,000 to get Fifi's information. She says that she needed that information because she was turning it over to a lawyer. Now, we did hear Fifi call CPS on live. She claimed that the lawyer was going to sue her, was going to stop her. She was pressing charges. Remember, she said she had this attorney on retainer. He was going to go over there. He was going to get all the CPS calls and he was going to do a lot of things. That's what she got out here and told us. So you invested $1,000 in getting someone's information that you were supposed to turn over to an attorney, an attorney that's invisible. At this point, one of the big questions I have, if you turned everything over to an attorney to handle all this stuff with CPS and you were going after CPS and everybody else, then why are they still knocking at your door? If you have an attorney on retainer like you told us, right? If you did, 
then why haven't you stopped them from coming to your house yet? An attorney can go down there. He can get those call pool. He can go and see who's calling. He can hear the voices. You're claiming that it's all the same people. You're claiming that it's this. You're claiming that it's that. You told us about the third time that they showed up that you were going to sue CPS in the state of Florida and your attorney was on it. Where is the attorney? I mean, does anybody ever hold her? Um, against the fire for the things that she says. Do I mean, it's a lot of questions out here. It's a lot of information that you overgive and you expect us not to remember what you say. You mean to tell me you paid someone because you showed the cash app receipt $1,000 for Fifi information, but you did what with it now? What attorney? Why didn't you take that money that you, you know, cashed up your cousin just to have a receipt and then you made the cousin cash app you back $9.95 and told them to keep the $5, right? All of these lies are now starting to add up. I understand that you're getting CPS that is showing up at your house back to back, but why, where's this attorney? Where did, where's all this money that you said you paid this man to get all to the bottom of it? Also, what did you do to that neighbor that's got them disliking you so much as you think they're calling you? I don't know, CPS. I'm just trying to make it make sense. You said it's your neighbor over here because, you know, your neighbor doesn't like you. Well, what's going on that makes them not like you? What's going on behind the scenes? One thing people have to realize, right? We see the videos that she produces, the humping in the air, the dancing and everything else. But neighbors see the behind the scenes, right? If you're out in the middle of your neighborhood and you're dancing and you're bobbing and you're weaving and you're doing all of this these neighbors are seeing what's going on maybe it is a neighbor that's saying these things or thinking these things are going on because they're a bystander watching your movement watching your dance and listen to the music that you're playing you can't always just get on here and say oh it's got to be social media because i got two million followers it's almost like that makes you feel proud or makes you feel like you're doing something by saying that and that's not always the case you also have got on here and cussed out every member in your family, told all they business. How do you know that it's not them? You made it seem like it's one person, one voice, but then you guess five or six different things. That's how we know you a big liar. Something fishy is going on here. Number one, your lawyer should have been have stopped it if you had a lawyer. Number two, if uh, CPS shows up, you should say, well, let me get my attorney on the phone while I film you guys on the other phone because you're always calling around and running around with two, three different phones. Why are you not calling your attorney? Why are you not getting some subpoenas? Why are you not getting to the bottom of it? And I also know you're a barefaced lie because if anybody has followed me, the day CPS came to my house and the woman who filmed it on live calling on me, I showed them the video. And once I showed them the video, they were like, yes, this is the woman who called. You already know. And then we uh, went into some proceedings to get some paperwork sent to her. And if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I mean, you sat online and you was trying to tell us that Wood was the bee's knees while y'all were on vacation and told everybody else that they man was nothing. Then you got home, right? And you're outside and you're playing and you're still bragging on your husband. And I understand what they knocked on the door with was a little bit out there and was a little bit crazy and was a little bit strange. But when the officer and the woman start talking to your husband, he's just stood there with his drawers hanging out of it and pants off. He didn't ask no questions. He didn't say, Oh, who's saying this about this? Wow, this is, you know, outlandish to someone to say this to me. He didn't do anything. I don't care how shy you are. You a man. Say it with your chest. Get out there and talk. Stand up for your wife. Stand up for your kids. If you can't stand up for your wife and kids because you're so shy, then you might as well go on back to elementary school because at some point you need to stand up for something. This man that you praise, every time CPS come around, he acts as though he is just a nut. He's either trying to go through the truck, get in the truck, drive away, but then you stand there with woods said I shouldn't let them see my kids well maybe if Wood could stand up for his wife and his children and get out there and talk like a man and ask what's going on then maybe people could respect it but he's always trying to fly the coop when they come we seen you get in here taking drug tests and he was standing in the background remember when they first came he was standing back there cooking and flipping stuff like he had lost his mind like he couldn't see straight like he needed to put on bifocals we done seen him getting in the truck trying to take off we see you interacting and talking you coming up with crocodile tears 
you doing everything. And then you want to get out here and say that this is a man of anybody's dreams and we can't nobody tell you about your husband. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Your husband, he's acting very fishy and funny because I'm going to tell you something. No grown man is going to stand there and hear the allegations that's uh, going on against him and just stand there and be acting all goofy and everything else without asking some kind of questions and wanting to know where it's coming from. Now, y'all are starting to make me think that y'all got something to do with this for content. I mean, truly, I don't want to say that someone, right, has would do something heinous like this. And I do believe that because I've seen it with my own eyes that people have called CPS on Peach and on Wood. Do I think they're continuing to do it as of now? I do not believe that this is something from social media. You're making enemies. This is the problem. Peach is making enemies in real life and on social media. She cusses people out on social media. She cusses people out in real life. She ruins business. She gets out here. She gets black eyes. She gets out here and tells everybody to F off. She drops all her family business. She does a lot behind closed doors and on social media. So you never know what is truly going on. I do truly, 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 truly feel bad for these children. She said that uh, CPS is showing up at their schools. Then we see that they have to ask some questions and see them. And they're probably wondering who these people are. And I do feel truly bad for these children to have to go through this. Peach could have put a stop to this a long time ago if she was about her business. If she was about the business that she got on here seven, almost eight months ago, and told us she was going to do. You remember when she was showing us she took a drug test in her house and she told us back then, oh, don't worry. I don't mind doing it. My lawyer's on it. My lawyer's going to get those CPS calls pulled. My lawyer's going to sue all these people. My lawyer's going to do this. Instead of paying a thousand dollars for someone's information, maybe you should have so-called took that fake money that you gamble with and you go out and spin and you go out and blow and your man is out here doing God knows what with and actually got an attorney. Like, why did you not go out and get an attorney when you see that your children are suffering through something, right? Why would you not take your big bag, big bank instead of taking your big back to sell up in that casino and go and get you some help. Why have we not once seen you go down to the CPS? Well, now she will, y'all. She going to now because she watched what we say and do. Why have you not taken yourself down to CPS and sat down and talked to a supervisor or someone in charge? Why have you not taken a trip to see exactly what is going on with your children and what's going on down there? Because you don't care. But you surely made sure you went on vacation when you knew that that man was going to miraculously miraculously come knocking on your door. You were out here at the hard rock and you were out here at the zoo and everything else you claimed you was doing like y'all was on the run. There's a lot of things that are so fishy that it makes absolutely no sense and it's not adding up. And I'm going to tell you, there's no way I would let my children suffer through something like this. There's no way that I would get out here and have allegations about me and my children or me and my husband or me and anyone else that has to do in my household and me not be down there beating their door down to say, what are you going to do about this? See, this is the problem with Peach. Like I said, she's made too many enemies. She can't pinpoint it. Don't make a video saying, I know who called CPS on me when you don't have a clue because you're lost in the sauce. Don't get out here acting as though you're a victim and you're crying and everything else. And Oh, one of my kids got sick. Why would you get out here and tell somebody that your kids was sick in the hospital so that somebody could try and make a report or try and call the hospital? It's over talking and telling your business. That's not content. Right now, you're being messy by dropping your own tea. I mean, last week, all the kids were home because they were sick. And uh, you were saying that they were getting sicker, but you still took them on vacation. And then you bring them back home and then they're sick enough that one of them has to go to the hospital. Once again, you didn't have to tell us that, Peach. You overshare because you want people to talk. You want people to speculate. And you don't mind the drama being in your life. You could have taken your child to the hospital, not filmed about it, not reported on it. You could have came home, setting your office and you could have went up there and did the same thing. You could have sang your little, you know, adversity song in your office and nobody would knew any different. You could have got on here and talk crap and on, sitting on a picnic bench or wherever you are at the YMCA and nobody would have knew any different. You get out here and you share and you overshare because you want this drama. You like this attention. And that's where a lot of these questions come into play at. You are doing too much and then you snapping on people. Then you uh, filming in the hospital so people can see the sign. It's like you want it. And you know what? If you want it, 
more power to you. But at one point you have to realize that it is not producive or okay, good for your children's mental health to go through all of this. You say you don't want to get a nine to five and you're never going to get off social media. That's fine if that's how you want to be because you want drama in your life. I told you, this is a woman who wakes up to see what dance she can do, what hairstyle she can do, what outfit she can put on, anything she can do to get attention at that moment and cause chaos in the day. That's what she likes. She doesn't care if it's good attention. She doesn't care if it's positive. She doesn't care if it's negative as long as it's attention and it's sad and it's sick and it's twisted. And I'm telling y'all, it's getting to be beyond me. Everything that is going on over there. Now, I know that we done got out here and said a lot. And I do mean a lot. And I thank you guys for watching. This is something that we're going to go live about. Like I said earlier, I'll have the live set up tonight so you guys can all uh, put on your notification bells. We'll go live for quite some time tomorrow and we'll talk about it all in detail. I'm going to spend some time tonight and go back on YouTube and get some quotes that she has said. And we're going to just get out here and put some proof in the air, you know, because it's all fishy and it's all fake and it's all phony. Now, what I want y'all to do is have a wonderful day. I will be dropping content on Peach all day. So if you are a peach patcher or if you are a peach uh whatever you want to be called you can stay out the comments but if we over here and we storm chasers honey look for the content that is going to be rolling out we got a lot of catching up to do and a lot of things to cover so i thank y'all for being here y'all have y'all a wonderful and i do mean wonderful monday and i hope y'all had a wonderful weekend i thank you guys for your support and holding it through with your girl because she ain't been posting just know that I love y'all. I'm here. I'm watching. And I thank y'all for everything. Y'all have y'all a wonderful day. And I will see those in the replay. And I thank you all for being here now in the premiere. Toodles.